technology now, mate. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Phil. It's a pleasure. Yeah, so this is for the uh, Group Udo show, this little sort of web program we do. But uh, anyway, I think we've actually interviewed Phil before. Anyway, we did. so uh, Phil Liggett, we're sitting here at the uh, in Port Arlington, and we noticed yesterday that you weren't calling the race at the at you know up on the stage. You were taking notes. That's because we're doing this half-hour show, and I'm commentating the actual show without the pictures. And depending on what I say, they put the pictures in to match the words. So I need to keep a closer eye on the race. So really, that's why I haven't been commentating. Okay, well, we could actually, if you had somebody <laughs> People out... People thought I was retiring, if, Phil. If you had somebody out in the, in the race, maybe they could match it to what your script is. That's what we're trying to do. Yes. Um, but it's very difficult because you would operate with only one camera on the, mo on the motorbike. And he can't always be what I'm saying he is. So when we're looking at a sprint finish, he actually may not be looking at the sprint finish. So we have to try and make the pictures fit the words. Or the words fit the pictures, yeah. yeah. So what's that, tightening budgets? Yeah, that uh, is probably the truth. Nobody's told me, but yes, it's probably the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that John Tavaro guy, he's sneaky. Yeah, he is. He's very <laughs> sneaky. Um, great bike rider, great organiser. And it's the no. way, it, you know, because it's the summer of cycling now, um, he's also involved in the Nationals. He's involved, obviously, in the Sun Tour. And then we've got the Tour Down Under as well as the Cadell Evans race. It's a fantastic period for cycling now. All the big names here too, Mark Cavendish, Chris Froome, all riding here. Yeah, do you think... Because of global warming, do you think they'll ever change the summer of cycling to winter? Uh, it's quite likely. I don't, I'm not a man that believes in global warming. I think it's just a transition of time. We once lived in an ice age, you know, and that's going. Uh, I think the seasons will shift, though. So, yeah, I think it might be in the winter next time. Well, we could see it actually clash with uh, the Tour, the Tour de France. I hadn't thought of that. Now, that could be a bit serious, Phil. Um, I might have a problem then deciding what I'm going to do. The Sigurd show will have to be uh, <laughs> have, to, have to be changed around a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. And can you imagine Bernardino presenting the prizes here instead of at the Tour de France? Now that's something else. That's right. And uh, yeah, and who would we get to to uh, present at the Tour? Maybe John Tavaro. I think he would be a good choice. Yeah. yeah Let's I can have John Tavaro on the tour stage. <laughs> he caused chaos. Come to think of it. <laughs> that's right. Well, thanks for uh, having a chat with us. It's been a great pleasure. Gruppetto, you say? The Gruppetto show. Yeah, that's at the back where I always show. ride. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, we okay. specialise in that. But yeah. it's a less serious side, as you might have noticed. Of, no, uh, I hadn't, actually. I thought that was a serious interview. <laughs> well, yeah. there you are. Yeah. Tour de France in January. I quite like the idea. <laughs>